Gonna be honest with you, tonight I could have watched Girl in the Spider's Web, but Nazi zombies, man. Nazi zombies, kind of. Overlord. So Overlord's one of those movies, I don't know how many people are gonna go to this over the weekend. The plot as I thought it was, because that's what the trailer showed, World War II, these American soldiers, they parachute to France, they have a job to do, but they find out the Nazis are creating zombies, so now they gotta take down zombies. It's a zombie apocalypse movie with Nazi zombies. The premise is actually a lot of that, but it's just there's not a zombie apocalypse. It's more or less we gotta blow up that lab before the apocalypse happens. And that zombie threats, how many? There are two zombies. Actually, technically three, but there are two. But it doesn't mean the movie's lame. This movie actually hooked me early on. There's this plane crash scene, you see it in the trailer, it's actually really intense. Between that, the set pieces, the gunfights, when they happen, that is, when they're not hanging out in the house talking, it's actually really impressive. This is a movie that wants to dip one toe, maybe one foot in the grade B element, but doesn't fully want to commit to being a grade B movie. Not like Planet Terror, like Planet Terror was like, yeah, this is what we are. We are supposed to be a grindhouse grade B flick. That's why it's fun. This movie takes itself a bit more seriously than that, it's as serious as a movie about Nazis are making zombies possibly can. And the cast did a really fine job. Funny enough, the corporal, who's the leader, because he's the highest ranking one, the highest ranking surviving person, he's the hardcore dude, he's gonna get the job done, but sometimes you close your eyes when he's talking and you swear you are hearing Nicolas Cage talk. Not all the time, but sometimes he sounds like Nicolas Cage. So you got the hardcore guy, you got the dude that makes all the snarky remarks, he's kind of a dick, and you got our good paragon hero type. Granted, the movie is pretty violent, like unsettlingly violent sometimes. And I guess that's a positive of this movie having one foot in the grade B element, the other foot in the grade A element. In a grade B movie for me, if someone gets plugged in the head, I'm like, yeah, it's a great B movie, you know, gore. When a movie's starting to take itself a bit seriously and then you see it happen, you're like, huh, all right, that was a little unsettling. So this movie has that going for it. And when one of the two zombie situations is actually happening and this thing is chasing this girl, it's actually, it's pretty intense. I do feel like this movie could have picked up the pace at a point. Maybe they could have used more zombies at this point. Maybe they could have brought the zombies out earlier and they had more to deal with by the end. They're hanging out in this house and it has its own thing going on. I'm just saying after the insane parachute crash landing sequence at the beginning, then all right, we gotta go to the mission to get the job done. In between, there is a bit of a lull. I suppose I'm telling you, I'm informing you that there are not a lot of zombies in this movie to essentially brace you for that. I don't want you going into this movie thinking it's some sort of zombie horde movie. Set yourself up for that. You're going to set yourself up for disappointment. It's not really what it's about. You go into this movie with the mindset that this is a World War II movie about American soldiers who have a job to do. They have to blow up this antenna and beat the living piss out of an SS officer. It's always a fun Saturday. And side note, there's a secret lab where Nazis are making zombies. I got to deal with that too. I think you'll have a pretty fun time with this one. I'm just saying Overlord was a pretty good time. No alcohol required. This movie treats itself as a war movie first. It's actually more intense than a lot of war movies I've seen lately. It actually feels more real and more legit than a lot of war movies I've seen lately. Then again, there haven't been a lot of war movies that I've seen lately. I'm just saying the execution of the war element it impressed me. Alright, so Overlord, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Or what's your favorite war movie or zombie movie? lately. Whatever they are, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.